tonsillitis. This is an infection. But before you get to know more about this, first of all, let's get to know what tonsils are. They are immune organs, usually at the back of your mouth. And they are two, and they are very strategic because they play a very important role as they are going to see. Now, they contain what you call lymph nodes. And lymph nodes contain immune cells that will help in protecting you from any pathogen getting to your body, either through your nose or your mouth. So basically, they usually scavenge for those pathogens before getting to your body and they kill them. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. Sometimes they might capture something a little bit stubborn. Like, take for example, uh, Streptococcus pyogenesis are uh, a bacteria. Kind of stubborn, usually disturb the tonsils so much. Now, in case that's the case, it gets to the tonsils and uh, they are unable to kill that instantly. What will happen is you're going to have inflammation there and you're going to feel pain when you're swallowing anything, even if it's water. Now, uh, we have several types of tonsillitis, one of which is bacterial, and we have another fungal, which is very rare, and uh, we have others like uh, the viral. Now, how well you're going to be treated for this will depend on how good your doctor is at diagnosing that, because sometimes, you might be getting antibiotics against those tonsillitis causing bacteria, but in real sense, you have a, a viral infection, in which case you should uh, require something like an antiviral. The opposite can also be true, and uh, sometimes even you have a fungal infection and you're being treated by either an antiviral or antibacterial, but they're not resolving. That's one of the reasons. Incidences of tonsillitis are usually high in uh, children or young people because this is the time the immunity is developing and it's coming across so many uh, pathogens out there. So it's trying to adapt and to know what they are so that next time they will be able to deal with them better. So when you get old, the functionality of the tonsils really kind of reduces and that's why the incidences of them become uh, less frequent because you already have a set immunity that can deal with most of the pathogens. Sometimes you might get older and uh, they are not resolving so you still have those frequent uh, attacks from the tonsillitis. Or you're still young, but they're not responding to any drugs. So the best thing for them is to get for them to get removed, depending on how severe they are. But if they're not severe, you can just take drugs and they will just disappear. So thanks for watching all the way up to this point. I hope you are getting value. And if you're getting value, give us a like, subscribe, and also share to those people who will be interested. See you in the next one.